Hey everyone, you're welcome to today's video with Risa on the Risa's Campus. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a KDP book cover using your mobile phone. So the covers you're seeing right now on your screen, these are covers that I created using PowerPoint. So um, if you don't have a laptop, I'm going to be showing you how to do that using just your phone and using the free app called Canva. But if you have a laptop and you want to create a more professionally looking covers like this, then I'm going to leave the link of the tutorials in the description box of this video so you can go check it out. So this is the cover that we're going to be creating using Canva. So this cover is as a result of the book that we created using Canva itself. So I'm going to leave the link of that tutorial where I show you how to create and format an ebook using your mobile phone on canva so this is the second part of the video where i'm going to show you how to create a, a book cover for that book all right so to start you're going to open up canva and once that is open up click the plus sign at the bottom of the app and then right here you're going to see custom size click on custom size we're going to give our width and our height and to do that we're going to go to google and we're going to type in kdp book cover calculator now click the first link and it's going to take us here let me just zoom that out so you see it perfectly all right so based on the book the type of book we want to create so the binding type we're going to click the drop down arrow and change that to paperback then the interior type we're going to click the drop down arrow and we're going to select um black and white and then paper type we're going to select white paper and then the page turn direction we're going to do left to right for the measurement unit we're going to click and choose inches because that was our measurement unit when we we're creating the uh, we're formatting our book so for interior trim size remember our trim size was six we created a six by nine um, page size so we're going to go for six by nine inch and then the page the page count that is the number of pages that are, are in your book so you're going to write it down here and then you're going to click the orange box which says calculate dimensions and when you scroll now to your left you're going to see this is the dimensions that it has given for us to create the book cover so come down here on your left and then click download template and the template is going to be downloaded into your mobile phone when you open up the downloaded file you're going to see it appears like this so what you're going to do now is to go to the bottom and click extract and then click extract again and it's going to extract the file so you have the pdf and the image file the png file so we're going to use the most important thing that we're going to be using is this png file and from the png file you're going to see the dimensions that we need to put into canva so our width is going to be 12.324 and our height 9.250 we're going to go back to canva and we're going to insert our dimension the overall dimensions here the width is 12.324 and our height is 9.250 so i made a small mistake i'm just going to adjust that once that is done click create new design so once it's open up i'm going to just use my finger to drag this downwards uh, okay so once the blank page is open up the next thing we're going to do is to upload our png um, image that we have extracted so come down here and click on upload and then at the top you're going to see the button which says upload files click on that and then just take the image so this is the image and it's going to be uploaded into my canva app so you just have to patient until it's done uploading then just tap on the image and it's going to be inserted here so use your finger you're going to see the points uh, around the image so use that to drag until it fits the page next we're going to go to the bottom and then scroll until you see element click on elements and we're going to go to the search bar and type in shapes but right now it's already there so i'm just going to choose the square shape and then i'm going to bring it in here and then drag so you're going to make sure the square covers of the right line as well but for now just tap on the square and click the duplicate icon at the top and then just drag it to the left and then adjust it as well next i'm going to give a color to this 
our square so just tap on the square and it, the color option is going to come at the bottom here tap on that and then you can just choose a color from the different colors that is available here all right so next is to add an image to our book so i'm going to be using that ai option and this is a click on the ai image generator and you're going to type in or describe your image here so my text prompt is a 3d realistic png image of a middle class african housewife with her with her three children something of that sort and then when i'm done i'm going to click the purple button which says create and it's going to generate it for me right so i think this is great for what i need adjust it and then next is to add a text come down here and then scroll to the options and click on text click on where it says add a heading so i'm going to click on the heading option and then just type in the title of your book right here i'm just going to duplicate this click on it and then click the duplicate option and then bring it down and add so that is easier rather than going to the text tool and adding the text next we're going to format the text so just tap on the text to highlight it like this and then come down here and then scroll until you see formats click on it and then you can just click on the bold option to bold the text and centralize it you can also change the font click on fonts and then come down here and select the font i'm going to use anton and change your font size and you can increase it like that and then i'm going to try to reduce the spacing so highlight it and come down here and click on spacing then drag behind to reduce the line spacing so the next thing is to add some effects click on effects and then we're going to click the lift effect and then we're going to give a little bit of um, shadowy effect to it reduce the intensity and that looks perfect next we're going to add author's name i'm going to just duplicate this text and bring it down here and then change the text and write the author's name which is in this case is my name all right so we're going to go ahead to finish up with the design so i'm going to extend this um square tap on it and then just drag till it covers up the red line at the top and the bottom and the side except for the spine all right next we're going to add a spine which is on the right line so click on elements and go to, and go to shapes and click on the square come here adjust it and then change the color till it covers the red line just like that and you have your spine ready all right now that we're done with our book design the next thing to do is to delete our kdp guide image so tap on any of the objects i'm going to tap on this shape and then come down here and scroll to see layers click on layers and then just scroll you're going to see the image right here tap on that and then just click the delete icon and it's going to be deleted all right so once that is done the next thing to do is to just download our book so at the top here click on the download icon and next click on the option which says download here and then click on the drop down arrow on file type and we're going to change it to pdf print and then just click download once it's downloaded you can just go now to your image to your gallery and then you're going to click and see your your image there your cover image there and then you can just upload it to amazon all right guys so that is how you can easily create a kdp book cover using your mobile phone i hope you enjoyed the video please don't forget to hit the subscribe button also leave a thumbs up if the video was helpful share the video if possible and thank you so much for watching see you in the next video